I, hey, I mean, to just give you background, I've watched all three of you from start to finish of your career, so this is a treat for me, so thank oh, you. Thank you. Um, so then when you say about each um, of you had different ideas, go start with yours. What was your reason? Um, I was just at a place where I really cannot get into the audition room. Okay. Like, I can't get into a room to get auditions. And I'm, it's, it's Is really this part of just you feel coming from a daytime background? Like you feel? I don't know what it is. Okay. I really don't. And, but it's, you know, I, I want a chance to get out there. And this was really perfect. Got it. Yeah. And now Donna, what was your reason? Well, when they first came to me and said a reality show, I said, mm, no, uh, no. Yes. And they said, well, listen to the premise. I liked the premise. I yeah. liked the idea that it was a reality show that was about something, that had a goal, that we would come together to create something. Um, because I, I feel like a lot of the reality shows are just about, eh, you know, and it's nothing. Yeah. This, this meant something. And uh, I thought it, it was something that I would like to pursue and, and, and to create that drama. I, I produced movies for television before and I like producing and I thought this would be another chance to do it. And now Vanessa, following your career, I, I, you've been more selective. You have done also prime time. You had the 90210 role. You had the Las Vegas. Talk to me then about that because you sort of say in the episode, I'm only going to do projects that I really believe in because I'm not going to leave my son, you know, to do something yeah. that I'm not really behind. So talk to that. Um, I kind of feel like in many ways I've failed at real life and had a lot of fun in my career and, and I think a, a lot of it is luck. I think there's a lot of luck in, involved in our, you know, industry. And um, so after I had my son, I really started to realize how much time I was missing with my family. So I was kind of at a point in my life where I was feeling, and I don't really believe in separating daytime and prime time and that there's rules and you can't cross over and you can't, I don't believe that there's rules about what you can and can't do. Yes. You know, that's something you have to just not even have in your head. Yeah. And, you know, ignorance is bliss, right? So I was just getting ready to leave town to go spend more time with my family because I felt like I had kind of failed yeah. as a daughter and a sister and a mother and, you know. Yes. And, um, and then I bumped into these girls and um, had met Leslie at Think Factory and he was talking about this cool project. And I just thought I would love to do a project that um, and work in a room behind the scenes with all women and just see what happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. And since we're about to have a female president, I just thought, you know. <laughs> Yes. Why not? Right. So, <laughs> so I just I thought it would be a fun idea to work with all women and see what comes of it. So I kind of got involved because of that. But like growing up, like with Donna, I mean, she was like a legendary character on Primetime, Not Landing, Abby Ewan. Did you uh, did you watch Primetime Soaps? For me, both of them are legends. Uh, she uh, both I absolutely. I love her. <laughs> Yes, they both yeah. are amazing actresses. I mean, this is extraordinary to be with them. This one, and I mean, Donna, for me, was like, you know, there. we shot an episode where I was supposed to go talk to her, and I think they wanted me to go in there and be like, two women or strong women are coming together, and I couldn't form a sentence <laughs> because she made me so nervous. Yeah. She was in like this dress, and I was just like, oh my God. Uh, uh. So to me, you know, uh, I'm just starting to get comfortable enough around Donna, because she is, you know, she's major, and it's it's really an honor to be able to even work near her. And then Lynn's, I had just bumped into. I think it's, you know, stuff happens for a reason. Yeah. We had literally just bumped into each other like a week or two weeks before yeah. this project came up. Yeah. So it was interesting. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Drinking with the Stars, and tune in to Pop TV April 26th at 10 p.m. to catch these lovely ladies on Queens of Drama. <laughs>